that's a great school from uh, sequin secondary in Delta. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that all schools in British Columbia are earthquake proof. The reality is there's 150 schools that need to be seismically upgraded to protect the students and teachers in them when the major earthquake comes which is predicted to come in the next few decades. The BC Liberal government have only funded one of those schools in the next 12 months. We've said we'll fund all of those schools over the next four years and allocate the funds to make sure they're all completed on time. I don't want my three-year-old daughter being put at risk in one of the BC schools when the earthquake comes. We'll also fund an extra $300 million for teachers. The BC Liberals are doing this now as well and copying us, but they're only doing it because the Supreme Court of Canada told them that they acted illegally when they tried to take those funds away. That's the wrong way to fund education. We'll give priority enrolment to local students at our universities ahead of foreign students. We'll also give priority to local students in on-campus accommodation ahead of foreign students because we paid the taxes to build those post-secondary institutions, we should be able to get in there first and educate our students. We promised to replace all portable classrooms and the reality is the BC Liberals have lost steam in education, the NDP's got no major ideas and the Greens have completely forgotten elementary and secondary education in their policies. Thank you.